The Killer Collective is my Avengers meets the Justice League of America. It combines my three series, John Rain, Livia Lone, and Ben Trevin, and all the characters from their universes. They're motivated by different things. They have different worldviews, different styles, different tactical approaches. And anytime you put really strong but quite different characters together, you're gonna get a lot of friction. One of the challenges of writing a book like The Killer Collective is that you're dealing with some characters who do really bad things. They kill people, they break the law, and yet the reader has to enjoy and empathize with these characters. The way to do that, I think, is to get the reader inside their heads, understand their goals. And also remember that they're doing all these bad things in the service of a goal that I think most people would support, which is to track down a ring of some very powerful people who do bad things. It starts in the Secret Service, but it's actually bigger than just that. Olivia alone starts getting too close to uncovering a child pornography ring, and someone makes an attempt on her life. And she reaches out to someone who she knows, that's Docs, who she encountered in my book, The Night Trade. Docs brings in Rain, and then Colonel Scott Horton from the Trevin books gets involved. Pretty soon it's the whole gang. As you may surmise from the title, The Killer Collective has a decent amount of killing in it. But the books aren't just brutal and delightful fun. There's always some sort of love story. This is the wonderful thing about The Killer Collective. If you've read all my previous books, that's great, but you certainly don't need to. It functions completely as a standalone. But if you have read the previous books, you'll definitely notice a few Easter eggs in there.